picturing what it would be like to graduate from this school from my very first day here. What it would be like to stand up on the stage, how I would feel, what I would say. I had a speech prepared since the day I was a freshman with predictions about how I thought this year would go. Who we would all become, what we would all be doing, where we would all be going. The speech talked about how sad we would all be that the year was over, how short it was. How I'm sure we all wish we could go back and just say one more year. I had to throw that speech out. There are no predictions I made that came true. And I know we're all tired of hearing that by right now. Because my first instinct is to ignore the elephant in the room. Because who wants to talk about COVID for the millionth time today? I'm pretty sure we've all been tired of talking about it since the day we went into quarantine. And as soon as I'm done making the speech, we can all go back to the morning. I encourage ignoring it. I think that in 20 years, when we have our reunion, we should all pretend that nothing even happened this year, and we have the smoothest senior year in the history of the AS yet. But right now, it's pointless to avoid talking about it. This year was hard. And if you had told all of us freshman year that we would be graduating during a year-long nationwide pandemic, I don't think any of us would have believed you. I doubt any of us even know what a pandemic even was. And yet, here we are, graduating three feet apart with masks on our faces. There are classmates here who I haven't seen since March of 2020. There are people here whose smiles I have yet to see all year, despite sitting next to them in class. I'm not going to sugarcoat how hard this year was for everybody. We all know it was. But despite it all, I would say that we're lucky. Sure, we lost a lot, but I think we gained a whole lot more. We gained a lot of knowledge this year. Knowledge that I don't think we would have learned anywhere else outside of the AS shed. We learned to be kind this year and to be responsible. We learned to wear our masks in, even when it was inconvenient for us. Even when we were climbing up the three levels of stairs at the AS shed and we were gasping for air, we kept those masks on our faces because we knew it was the right thing to do. We learned to let go of the losses. We learned to accept that life will not always work out how we want it to. And that's okay. That even though we have been looking forward to our senior year since the minute we stepped foot into this school, we had to accept that things would not go back to normal in time. And we had to live with losing all of the important moments we wanted to have. There were countless assemblies, award ceremonies, pep rallies, masses, clubs, plays, sports banquets, and games that we looked forward to going to for the last time. And they were taken away from us. And yet, still, we took the losses and we carried on. We let go of all the disappointment and we learned to accept it. And the most important lesson we learned was to grow up. Even though I'm sure some teachers would say that there are a few of us who have yet to learn that. And now, this lesson is not unique to our class. I think every single class learns this lesson. Some students earlier than others, but all of us in our own time learn to be responsible and to act our age. But I think a combination of this year and this school might have helped us feel the process of it. This year at VA yesterday, we learned how to take responsibility, how to cope with death, how to make the most of our situation, how to stand up for what we believe in, how to be mature, and how to help others. This year, we learned how to be adults. So despite all the losses, the failed predictions, and the disappointment, I believe we really are lucky. And I know it may not feel like it, but we are. Because we made it through this year. Look around. For the first time, we are together. We made it. We're done. We are the lucky ones who fought through this year and made it out. So it may suck that this was our senior year, and I know that a lot of us aren't going to want to remember it at all. But the one thing we should remember is this class, and all of the lessons we learned together. We should remember the people we're standing next to today. I am so grateful that you guys are my senior class. I can't think of a better group of people to be graduating with. I can't think of anybody else I would rather be standing next to, three feet apart, with masks on our faces, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else than with the VASA class of 2021.